G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zuri Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Dreams by Fleetwood Mac, which is a really great song for beginners. Now, if you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Now, for the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now, let's jump into the lesson. So as I mentioned before, this is a really great song for beginners because there's just a two chord chord progression that gets played basically throughout the whole song. So the verse and the chorus. There's only one exception to this, but I'll get to it later. But the two chord chord progression is an F and a G. The full F bar chord like this is perfectly fine, but it is a struggle for a lot of beginners out there. So if you want an alternative way of playing an F, there's a couple of different variations. So the first recommendation for the way that I like to play the F is just by focusing on the middle four strings and by putting your ring and pinky finger on the third frets of the fifth and fourth, middle finger on the second fret of the third string, and then index finger on the first fret of the second string. And just focusing on those middle four strings. So that's a really basic way of playing an F chord. It's technically called an F dash C chord but this is a super easy way of playing the F chord. So anyway, for the main chord progression, we're just gonna play each chord for a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So if you do that, the F and the G sounds like this. And that's pretty much most of the song. Now, if you wanna to add to that F chord a little bit more, then what you can do is take your thumb, reach over the top and hit the first fret of the sixth string. That gives it a much fuller sound. Like that. Now, another thing to note is that instead of playing this G chord, what you can actually do is just play this exact same shape and just move it up two frets, and this is a G. So F and G. So this is another way of playing the chord progression, which goes like this. Now, if you wanna get a little bit fancier, what you can do is add variations to these two chords. So for the F, what we can do is F major seven. So if you can just hit your first fret of the second string, having your index finger curled, that will allow the open first string to ring out. And that's an F major seven. And if you take this exact same shape up two frets, it turns into a G six. So having that open first string ring out. And that's a variation or a fancier way of playing this chord progression if you want to add a little bit more flavor. So that's the main chord progression that's played in the verse and the chorus. The only exception to this is the break after the first chorus. It's really simple, we start with an A minor, and then a G for two strumming patterns, and then we go to our F. And that's pretty much everything for this song, which is really nice and easy. Now in the playthrough at the end of this lesson, you'll see me using a combination of the major seven and the G six, and just the regular chords as well, just depending on how I'm feeling. But the main thing to note really is that it's just an F and a G chord, and you can add the variations as you please. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Kelly for lending her awesome vocals to this playthrough. If you wanna check out her YouTube channel, there's a link in the description below. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you wanna grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.